We're going to show how to connect a cylinder with these bends. The first thing you have to secure this cylinder with the bend. The way you do it, there are some holes in there, some slots, and then there is this T nut that goes here. So what you do, so here there is a T nut underneath, and then you put like this, and then, then tighten this. Um, then it's going to be secured because you will be attaching weights on here. So if they're not secured, they will basically fall on you. So let's connect this guy. Well, it's pretty heavy. So make sure it's secured fine before you start the machine. Um, like that, it's almost all the way in. So don't have to tight too much because it has about this much already inserted in that. Um, so this is a an experiment for the um, cylinder. So you want to see how much load is transferred. You see cylinders everywhere, garbage pack or any big equipment you name, they, they use hydraulic cylinder. That's the uh, easy way you can transfer big load. Uh, so basically connect either A or B with these two port and then make sure it's secure and then you can start the machine. So for that cylinder lab, there is a procedure sheet, what you have to do, um, calculate the velocity, and then the power transfer, um, and then compare it, how much the system develop, and how much you are transferring through the cylinder. So once you know the velocity and the amount of force, you can calculate the power. Force time velocity, uh, which is power, basically. Mm -hmm. You'll see the formula. Um, so you can calculate the power transfer, then you can also collect the fluid power. You have the pressure, you have the flow rate, so pressure time flow rate with some constant, I think 1714 divided by 1714. That will give you the horsepower, so hydraulic horsepower, then the mechanical horsepower, then you can compare how much it is transferred. A lot of time, the student make a mistake of saying that it's the efficiency of the cylinder. This has nothing to do with efficiency. Hydraulic system is almost over 90% efficient. There is no leak, there is no vibration, not much noise. So it's, it's very, very efficient. You're not testing efficiency here. What you're testing is the amount of power transferred by this cylinder. And that's all we need to know. Instead of designing a garbage packer, how much power we need to transfer to that. So basically collect the velocity, the force will be the weight of this piece, and then you can do the calculation. The procedure sheet has detailed instruction on how to do it.